everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be using these XX Revolution quads. Um, this is in the shade Extrava Extravagant. So it looks like this. It didn't smash. So yeah, we're going to be using Extravagant. If you guys like this video and the look that I create, then give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you'd like to see next and subscribe. So yeah, let's jump straight into it. As you can see, my face is already done. Um, my lips are stained because I had another look to do before this, so I've had to quickly take it off. But yeah, let's go in with the Morphe 441 brush. And we're going to apply, there's no like shade names, it's just one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna go in to this like pink. And I'm just going to have to apply that all in my crease. I'm going with this Morphe B80 brush. It's just going to be smaller and more like easier to place before I blend things out. So I'm just placing it in like a round. I'm really just placing this for now. Um, I'm not blending it out or anything. It does have good pigment to be for the, the palette. Someone commented on my video so um, saying they wanted to see me test more XX Revolution products. So thank you to the girl who commented. Um, and I've also had a few other comments on what to do next. So thank you. I'm going to go into this black shade and I'm going to put it on the uh, outer V for now just to see how it looks. So I'm just pressing this in with the Essence Aurora brush. So it's just like a small shade of brush like this. It is a very pigmented black, I will say that. And even the pink is pigmented. Go back in with the Morphe B80 brush and just blend this out. I'm trying my hardest not to let this go above the crease too much. And then I'm going to go back in with the Morphe 441 brush and just pick up some, a tiny bit of pink just so I can intensify like the outer pink a bit more. And then I'm going to go into this like cranberry shade and I'm going to go onto this with it's like little cheapy ones it's like a flat shader brush from um, Amazon I'm just going to try it like dry just to see how it applies and then if we need to we'll apply where oh yeah that is pigmented it is dropping though guys like there is a quite a bit of fallout It does apply really nicely, but I just want like the more wet foiled look. So I am going to go into my MAC Fix Plus and then back in with the same shadow on my eye. And then I'm going to go back in with the Morphe 441 brush and I'm just going to blend like these, the black and the pink together in a bit more. So I'm just going to go in, back in with the same 
brush I'm just going to deepen up a tiny bit that black but this palette is really good like it is really pigmented and um, there is a lot of fallout so I would probably do your um, eyes first but I do really like this I'm just going to wing this out because I think that this would be a better look just a tiny bit but yeah this is how it's looking um, it is really nice this palette is a really nice palette um, it's in extravagant again um, I've had no issues with blending it out the colours have applied nicely the shimmers have applied nicely um, there is a lot of fallout with the shimmer so I would suggest obviously next time just do your eyes first but yeah let's um, let me go do my other eye and then apply my lashes so I am back I've applied my lashes I've done my other eye and I've also just taken the pink in the palette and just brought that under my under eye so we're going to finish off doing my lips I'm going to go for a brownie glossy nude so I'm going to use the revolution glory lip liner So that's Glory obviously applied onto the lips. And then I'm going to go in with the nude collection of Revolutions lipsticks. Um, and this is in the shade Mannequin. Then I'm going to go in with this L'Oreal Paris it's like a lip topper um, in Dazzle, just over the top. So yeah, this is the finished look with the lips done and the eyes. It's a really nice palette. I really do like this palette. Um, I think it's got some good colours. I wish they had like a different colour other than the black, but I guess it work, It does work really well. I do suggest this palette that you go and try it out and put it on. It's really easy to blend out. The colours are pigmented and I've created quite a fun look. And obviously you can, you can probably apply like the black to the inner half and then apply like this just on the inner part of your eyelid. You can go in with the white above your eyebrows um, and then obviously it's just a good black as well um, and I really do like the shimmer with and without the spray I just wanted like the wet look so yeah um, this is the palette I do highly suggest you go and get it we will be testing some more of these out because I've got like loads of other colours of these to see whether these are the same quality as this one. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed my look and subscribe down below. Give me a big thumbs up and comment what you would like to see next or what you think of this look. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!